similar to the 2000 to 2011. And if you look at a chart, to me, that looks like it's going to do that. Gold's going to be $20,000. I mean, $10,000. It's a 5X move. So as soon as this stronger than expected number came out, just like Pavlov's dog, right, these uh, programs sold gold. So gold initially went down. But it didn't stay down because the real money, the real buyers came in and bought what the programs were selling. And then gold just spiked because this is a real move. The real gold buyers don't care about these jobs reports. They probably realize that they're BS. They don't care how many second and third jobs, you know, broke Americans are forced to take because they can't pay their bills. They don't care about all this. They're buying gold. Bond prices got clobbered again today to end a horrific week for bonds, get, setting up a bloodbath. The yield on the 10-year now back up to 4.38. And on the 30-year, we're 4.53. So we're now closer to 5% than 4%. Now, in the past several years, gold got killed when yields went up. Gold got killed on a strong jobs report. Not now. Gold went up. That's why I don't think there's much risk in the gold trade. Because believe me, if we had a weak jobs report, gold would have been up a lot more than $37. So in my opinion, it doesn't matter what the numbers are. Gold's going up no matter what. It's just that it'll go up even more on weak economic news than on strong economic news. But whatever the news is, gold is going up. Gold is being repriced. Central banks are increasing their gold reserves. They don't care. They don't care about the Fed at this point. They don't care how many rate cuts we're going to get this year. They don't even care if we get any rate cuts this year. Gold is going up no matter what. Now, the only thing that I think could cause the price of gold to go down is if the Fed hikes rates. And I think the probability of that is practically zero. I'm not, it's not zero because obviously anything can happen and the Fed should raise rates, but I don't think they will, especially with an election coming up this year, you know, and the longer they wait to raise rates, the more damage it'll do uh, to the Biden get when they do hike rates uh, or to the markets. I don't think they're going to hike rates. And so as long as the market knows that, that Powell's not going to hike rates, then just keep buying gold because inflation is going up. And if inflation is going up, that means real rates are going down. So if the Fed just stays where it is and inflation keeps picking up speed, which it's doing, and the Fed's going to do nothing about it, well, that's going to erode confidence in the dollar. That's going to erode the value of the dollar. Plus, you know, we're on autopilot on the deficit spending. The sky's the limit. They keep passing new spending. Nobody cares about cutting government spending. Biden doesn't care. Trump doesn't care. And so the holders of dollars are getting out and they're getting into gold. And this trend is going to accelerate. That's why I'm saying there's very little downside risk as far as I'm concerned. Yet there's massive upside potential. So this can't last. The prices can't stay this low much longer. Now, CNBC, they do mention gold, you know, but just casually, they don't make a big deal about it. Hey, gold's going up. And every discussion about gold, they say, well, it must be because of the geopolitical situation. That must be driving gold. That's the assumption they make. I mean, they're clueless. They don't even want to consider for a minute that gold is going up because of inflation, because the rate cuts are a mistake, right? Because their rosy scenario of a soft landing and rate cuts and 2% inflation is all a pipe dream. Right. They don't they don't want to admit that. So they're trying to figure out why gold is going up because they want to hold on to this myth that they believe in. Between 2004 and 2008, we had this big run in the CRB. And during that time, I mean, in fact, actually going back earlier, but gold actually went up 5x from 2004, you know, or maybe 2002 because it was under 400 and it went to 1900. That was by 2011. I think by 2008, it was only at 1,000. But that was still more than a triple. You know, if gold does another move similar to the 2000 to 2011, and if you look at a chart, to me, that looks like it's going to do that. Gold's going to be $20,000. I mean, $10,000. It's a 5X move. Gold moving from 400 to 1,900 
actually below 400. That's the same thing percentage wise as gold going from 2000 to 10,000. So it can be done. It can happen. I think it will happen. And the Dow, I think, is going to go down. You know, people are excited today. Hey, the Dow's up 300 points. Yeah, that's 0.8%. Gold was up 1.7%. That means in real terms, the Dow was down. In fact, year to date, even though the Dow is up 3%, gold is up 13%. So the Dow is down 10% in terms of gold. I think it's at 16.75 ounces. I think it's going down to two ounces, maybe lower, you know, because the all time record low is around one ounce where we have a double bottom in 1932 and 1980, approximately. Maybe it was 81 or 82, but right around there. So, you know, there's a massive bear market that's going to happen in the Dow. Stealth bear market in gold. Whether it has a bear market in paper dollars doesn't even matter. What matters is what's happening in terms of real money. But getting back to um, the CRB. So look at that move from 2004 to 2008. I think we're going to see a move like that in commodities. It's a big, huge move. Now, look at what the inflation rates were during that time period, right? So from that's five years, and you can see that chart. That whole move happens during those five years. This, the, the inflation rates were 2.7%, 3.4%, 3.2%, 2.8%, That's it. Not a single year was anywhere near the Fed's a 2% target. Now, during those five years, the Fed raised interest rates 17 times and 17 rate hikes didn't stop the commodity market from rising. The only thing that stopped it was the 2008 financial crisis. Now, unless you think we're going to have another financial crisis, which we could, it will be worse than the last one. How is commodity prices going to stop rising? How is gold going to stop rising if the Fed's going to start cutting? Because if we had this huge move in commodities and gold. At the same time, there were 17 rate hikes. What makes you think or anybody think that we're going to get rate cuts now and commodities are going to fall? No, the Fed would be throwing gasoline on the fire. So this is going to be an explosion across the board. Like the 1970s, all commodities, agriculture, industrial metals, precious metals, energy, all this stuff is going way up. Now, how you can look at these commodity charts and, and think that inflation is going down. I mean, headline inflation is going to go through the roof based on what's happening here. 